and welcome to the Fab Eye Care Show, episode number two. We have a very special guest on today's show and some hot topics in optometry. We are going to be talking about contact lenses. But before we get into the nitty gritty, we're going to introduce Dr. Josh Fabrizini, one of our newest doctors here at Fab Eye Care. And we're going to go through some of his background and then get into the topics. How are you doing, Dr. Josh? Good. How are you? Good. So, Dr. Josh graduated in 2013 from LaSalle College High School, that's right. local high school, and that's where it all began, right? Ten years ago, I can't <laughs> ten, believe it. Can you believe it? No. Been ten years? No. Uh, that is my alma mater as well, so go Explorers. We both played baseball there, and uh, we were the twi known as the twins in yep. high school, so... Um, not only do I get to introduce the new doctor, but I get to introduce him as my brother, my twin brother and family, which is what we, what we enjoy at Fab, Fab Eye Care. So Dr. Josh went on to uh, St. Michael's College up in New England. He played baseball there and majored in biology and minored in chemistry. He graduated with all honors all four years. Yeah. Good job, Dr. Josh. And then he went to become an EMT and an optician in his gap year to figure out what he wanted to do. Got well, actually, I was an EMT in college. EMT in college. Well, I'm sorry, EMT. you were, you were on the uh, board for St. Mike's College, right? And yep. uh, I did do the uh, EMT stuff. In okay, the awesome. Yeah. Well, he he knows yeah. more than than I do. Yeah. And uh, so then he went on to uh, decide optometry was was we yeah. wanted to be an eye doctor and yeah. went on to Pennsylvania College of Optometry, the same same school that me and uh, Dr. Fab went to. And he graduated with all four years of pseudo cum laude and did a neuro ophthalmic disease rotation with Dr. Kelly Malloy at PCO. Yep. So he definitely was put through the, the test and came out the other side as our brand new eye doctor. Thank you. So I wanted to kind of start with um, where it all began. How did you know that you wanted to be an eye doctor or did you not know until later on? Well, in high school, um, when you started taking, you know, normal science classes and stuff, I really enjoyed science. Both of them, you know, our parents are eye doctors, so we're like, oh, I guess we'll both become eye doctors and that'll be the end of the story, right? So it was that simple. Yeah, but in high school, after high school, when I got into college and I started learning about other stuff, my, um, I started out at Franklin and Marshall, and that's a liberal arts school, in St. Michael, and I transferred for baseball to St. Michael's College which um, was also a liberal arts. So I took business classes, I took um, you know, language and uh, other you know, areas that isn't focused on science. So when I graduated, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Um, I thought I was gonna do business, healthcare, and everything in between, try to connect it all. Yeah. So I worked um, as an uh, optician, I was an EMT, and I did some business stuff on the side as well. And I was trying to figure out what I want to do. And I said, being an eye doctor, you kind of can do all those things in one thing. So I, in, in one you know, job, yeah. you can do the business side, you yeah. can be a healthcare worker, and you can help people. Yeah. And that's what I decided to do. Emphasis on the so, last one, help people. Yeah, help right? people. So yeah. That's yeah. our main focus here at Fab Eye, and that's yeah. why I feel like you were a great fit for this, this office. Yeah. Um, tell us, you go into optometry school, you yeah. learn all the nuts and bolts of the eye, Yep. and how it works but what did you learn at fab eye care when you used to intern here in the summers and yeah. uh, when you first started what do you think fab eye um brings that not necessarily the academic world bring well private practice is very different than school yes. school you're just worrying about doing everything right all the technical stuff and trying to just not blind people yeah. you know when you're first starting out yeah. right you're just trying to survive when you come out of school and you go into private practice, you have to learn about everything. You have to learn about how to talk to people, what question, what the right questions to ask, how to, you know, understand what patients are trying to tell you yeah. and what they need, yeah. what, the, what they need from you. Yeah. So that's huge. Yeah. And I think we do a good job at that here because we spend a lot of time with our patients up front. Yeah. You know, I'm not just running to the exam lane and, Take your glasses off, get into the slit lamp, let's take a look at the eye. You know, any questions, have a good day. Yeah. And a, a lot of doctors nowadays are, are like that because yeah. they get stuck in that mode of, you know, I'm going to see 50 patients a day, I'm, you know, 
you got other stuff in life to do as well, but you know, you have to sit down with the patient and find out why are they here? What do they need from you? Awesome, you know? so. awesome. And you know, it, it brings up, that story brings up, um, when we first, the first day of eye doctor school, they write on the board in big letters, do no harm. Yeah. And Absolutely. that is our first job. And I feel yeah. like here at Fab Eye Care, we really embrace that. That yeah. is our first goal is patient safety and patient satisfaction. Yeah. And that's why I think one of the reasons that you were a good fit here is you understood that our culture yeah. was... Yeah. Well, we was learned about, that. we learned a lot from Dr. Fab, our, yeah. our dad. Yeah. He did a lot of things right that we learned even before we yeah. graduated. And we probably took for granted yeah. when we were interns. Exactly. Yeah. We thought every doctor was like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then we go into school and yeah. we're like, maybe not everybody's like yeah. Dr. Feb. Yeah. You know, exactly. so. Okay, yeah. good. Um, so people out there, they want to get to know you. You're the new fresh doctor. Yeah. Tell us one weekend hobby that you really enjoy for the crowd that maybe the patients can talk to you yeah. about. I, I, I think I know where you're going with this. You like to travel a little bit. You know, <laughs> what is your favorite conversation with your patients besides the eyeball? Yeah. Well, I used to never travel. Yeah. Like Dr. Fab, he yeah. hasn't take, he, taken a day off in he, 30 yeah, years. Right. He's his biggest claim to fame. Yeah, he doesn't take vacation. He doesn't like to travel. He doesn't yeah. like to fly. But I'm actually getting married in Italy in okay. October. Nice, congratulations. So actually, yep, thank you. And so I'm starting to travel more as I start to, you know, get older. Yeah. But I used to never travel. Yeah. So yeah. would you say that is your main hobby or right now is yeah, seeing other places? Yeah, spending time with the fiancé um, and traveling. Good. Yeah. Good. That's, okay. That's well, we're going to learn more about Dr. Josh in the next segment. But I just wanted to remind you that Fab Eye Care is on Griffin Street, one block behind the Phoenixville uh, Hospital. Our phone number is 610-933-1144. And if you want to make an appointment with Dr. Josh, you just uh, ask for Dr. Josh and they'll know exactly who it is. Yep. Are you taking uh, new patients at this time? Yep, yes yep. I am. And we take, you take all main vision insurance. If, if you have insurance, I'll take it. If you don't have insurance, come on in. We don't, yep. We'll take every, anybody and everybody. Okay, great. Well, we'll yep. be right back um, after the break. And welcome back from the break. I'm here with contact lens expert, Dr. Josh Fabrizini, one of our newest eye doctors here at Fab Eye Care. And today we're going to talk about soft contact lenses. Yeah. And there's two types of soft contact lenses. Well, actually three. Um, a daily, a bi-weekly, or a monthly. And so we're going to ask Dr. Josh the subtle differences and his um, preferences on which contacts are better for you. But before we get into that, I want to ask Dr. Josh, um, when you were doing your clinic rotations, what did you see in terms of the contact lenses, um, in terms of fitting capabilities yeah. and things like that? Tell us your experience yeah. or your training well, for the contact lenses. We actually started with hard contact lenses. Yeah. And um, I put them in my eye. I never worn contacts before, but I loved them. And yeah. most people wouldn't say that. Most people would say that the hard contact lenses, you can actually, you know, feel in your eye. And yeah. I liked that. It was comforting to me that I could feel the contact lens in my eye. That might sound weird to yeah. most people. Yeah. They don't want to feel the contact lens. But I felt that it was almost a, a secure feeling that I, that I knew that lens was in my eye. So tell, tell And I audience. liked the vision of the hard contact lenses. So tell the audience, okay, difference between hard contact lens yep. and soft contact lens. So hard contact lenses is... is you know, the name is, it's a hard contact lens. Mm -hmm. It's made up of a different material. Yep. It actually reshapes your cornea. Yep. So it's called gas permeable lenses, where people with keratoconus and other, um, you know, uh, dysfunctions of the cornea need a lens to reshape the, the, the eye. Mm -hmm. um, so hard contact lenses are more for patients that have dystrophies or keratoconus for the cornea or even severe dry eye. Um, but it's a, it's a great lens. It's been around forever, and a lot of patients that were fitting it 40 years ago are still in it because they yeah. like the optics. Yeah. It's better optics. It is. It is. And Dr. Lewis that we worked with, he wears them. Yeah. 
So, so. so hard contact lenses are gas perm. Yeah. You also had your scleral lenses that is a bigger hard lens that actually takes over the entire cornea and reshapes the front surface yeah. of the cornea. The scleros are harder to fit because it's harder to get in your eye. Um, yeah. The scleros you have to fill up with solution and you kind of have to bend over and kind of yeah. jam it into your eye. But, you know, we sit down with you, spend time with you to yeah. fit it. And then, but it's a good lens. Yeah. It's a harder fit so, lens, but... That's one of the things I think that separates us at Five Back Hair is that we will spend a half hour with yeah. you teaching you how to put in a hard lens or a soft yeah. lens or any type of lens. If you're out there, if you've never worn a contact lens, yeah. um, putting a contact lens in is a... There's certain techniques that make the process easier. And so if you've ever tried it and you failed, you know, we have special techniques here that we can try with you and uh, get you into a contact. And I rotated through the contact lens department at our yeah. school and we did the sclerals and the yes. gas firms and we're, I got pretty good at fitting them when yeah. I was in school. So I know you were um, with Dr. Guidish there yeah. at PCO at the contact lens um, yeah. specialty he was, service. He's great. He, he knows all the tricks. And, yeah. you know, when you're a student, you have you go in there thinking you know everything. And yeah. then he tells you, do it this way. Yeah. And then like, oh, wow, that, it actually works. Yeah. Um, but the hard, con the hard contact lenses, the gas perms, the squirrels, you really can't find a lot of people that will fit them. Yeah. They don't, doctors don't want to fit these lenses. Yeah, yeah. They're paying the, and you know what, to yeah, fit them. Yeah. But once you, if you can sit down with a patient, find the right lens for them, mm -hmm. spend time with them, and really try to, to get it to work, yeah. it can life, be life changing for yeah. patients. So. so that's what I was going to say. The best feeling that I feel like we do yeah. here is a patient can walk in our yeah. door, not seeing, and walk out the door. Well, we just had a, a patient that had that experience. Yeah was with a different provider, yeah. you know, whoever it was. I think she was from the West Coast, actually. Never liked her lenses, never was perfect. She thought she needed surgery, cataract yeah. surgery. Yeah. She comes in, we said, no, 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 you have keratoconus. Yeah. You need a hard contact lens, and yeah. she was in soft. Yeah. So we fed her with the hard contact lenses. Yeah. You'd think we changed her, her life. She's like, so, I don't need surgery? Yeah, you know, so, so. so people who have cornea conditions out there that may be listening, why does, how does a hard lens work? What are we actually doing to the eye to help them see more clearly? Well, it depends which lens you're talking about. But so the, let's talk about the square lens. Why, yeah. why is that going to help a patient? Well, again, it's reshaping the cornea, but it's using it a different way. It's putting basically a fluid in between the lens and the cornea. Exactly, you're basically creating a new front yeah. surface. New front eye. surface, yep. It hydrates it and it keeps it, you know, from uh, having that, that astigmatism, that, that funkiness to the eye. Yeah. But it can, be, it can be a hard fit because of that reason of the keratoconus. Yeah. But it can, you can go from 2040 to not being able to drive yeah. to 2020 with that lens. That's amazing. Yeah. And we've seen so many patients yeah. that have gone from not being able to drive, not being able to watch TV. Yeah to walking out that door that day, yeah. being yeah. able to do these things. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it takes time to fit. P patients can get very frustrated yeah. with it, but if you take your time, your patient, with the patient. Well, we have the special tools here where we have the topographer yeah. at the use. We have yeah. the- Technology the helps, and Tech we can call our lab, and they're really good with yeah. us, and they So we, we work else. with a lab yeah. where they, are spe they have specialty fit. Um, technicians that will actually custom make the lens for your eye. So, people who are listening out there, what are some of the symptoms of keratoconus that they may not even know they have? What are the, some of the symptoms? Keratoconus is when basically you put on a pair of glasses and you still can't see the way you want to see. Um, you're not going to be 20-20. Yep. Um, so there's no physical thing that you can see? Not usually. I mean, as us providers, we can see bulging but like in the, the mirror or something like no, that. No, you're not no, going to be yeah. like, oh, I have keratoconus yeah. now. Yeah. It's going to be something where you're just frustrated with your vision. Yeah. And most people are undiagnosed. Exactly. And so, they don't even know they have it. Yep. So if you haven't had an eye exam in a while, if you feel like your vision has gotten worse, even with glasses or contacts, mm -hmm. come in and get an evaluation of your cornea. You may have a condition called keratoconus or, or several mm -hmm. other cornea conditions. Well, the general condition the is called ectasia. Yeah. And you can Google it or whatever you want. There's all kinds of forms yeah. 
of Keratoconus or oh, Ectasia. Awesome. Okay, so, good. Yeah. All right, so we got off into a little bit of tangent. On the next segment, we're gonna mm. go over monthly versus biweekly versus daily. Well, that's a whole. That's lenses. a soft contact lens discussion. We can talk about that yeah. for hours. So, how, so that brings up a good point. How long do the hard lenses usually last, Doctor Josh? Well, we have patients that can make them last for years. Yeah. Are they supposed to last for years? No. So generally, how, how, what Six do you recommend? Months. Six months to a year. I mean, they'll be scratched from yeah. just wear and tear. Yeah. But and then I'll for the scleral what, lenses, it's about one to two years. You would say scleral? Yeah. Yeah, uh, one to two years. Uh, again, it depends how patients patient. abuse them or yeah. not. And our lab comes with a backup pair. Yeah. So they can get a year or two out of them, okay. but usually a year. And do you take them out at night or do you sleep in them? What do you? No. Do? You, you, Take them out. Okay, yeah, you don't. You don't want to sleep in your contact lens, no matter if it's hard or soft. It's just Good not. Point. You, you, you get in the trouble. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And we like to stay out of trouble here at Doc, yeah. at uh, Doctor Josh's yeah. office. Yeah. He keeps his patients nice and healthy and happy, right? Yep. I mean, it, patients are always. No matter where you go, patients are going to overwear the lenses. We can get that in later with the soft contact lenses, but. You know, life happens, yeah. right? It's you're busy. on vacation and you brought one pair yeah. with you and you're abusing that for the next two weeks yeah. when you're in Italy or whatever. Yeah. So you got to be careful and life happens. We understand that. But, but you want to be, you know, you want to take care of yourself. Yeah, you want to get an eye exam every you know, year and make sure you have... like taking your vitamins or... Yeah. Brushing your teeth. Brushing your teeth, yeah. going to the dentist. You yeah. know, my dentist texts me every six months. And it's been six months already. You know, yeah. you forget. Yeah. It's been a month. You forget to take your contacts out. You know, so. Okay, good point. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go to a break. Um, we are going to talk about soft contacts next. Yep. And welcome back from the break. This is Dr. John, your host at Fab Eye Care. This is our special guest, Dr. Josh Fabrizini. Uh, just to remind you, we're right behind Phoenixville Hospital on Griffin Street, and our number is 610-933-1154. So Dr. Josh, we're gonna get into some soft contact lens discussion. And so explain to someone who's never worn contacts before, what's the difference between a monthly and a daily contact lens? Yep, so before I even go over that, what is a contact lens, right? Good question. There's different materials, but it's basically a silicone water-based material that you put on the eye and it's, it lays right on the cornea, which is the front clear part of your eye. And what it does is it basically has a prescription in it that when light enters your eye, it corrects for your, um, you know, your prescription for your, like glasses. So um, it's a medical device that you insert into your eye that lays on your cornea and has your prescription built into the lens. So there's three different types in terms of duration. So there's dailies where you put it in your eye and you just throw them out, right? No solutions, no storing. These lenses are really good for dry eye um, because you're putting a new lens in and they last longer throughout the day. Um, so those are a really good lens. The two weeks, you can pretty much forget that. I don't even fit that anymore. It's an old lens, it's called Acuvue Oasis and people don't really wear them anymore. Um, it's old technology. And people abuse that lens. They wear it, you know, for over the, the two-week period because it's hard to it's hard remember, to remember the, the two-week two yeah. time period to yeah. switch. But the monthlies are, are probably the most popular lens out there. You wear it for a month and you throw it away, but it's really good in terms of optics sometimes with the astigmatism where it can kind of hide the astigmatism and it's a thicker lens than monthlies. So patients sometimes like... Uh, manipulating that monthly a little bit better mm -hmm. by putting it inside the eye. So the dailies are definitely thinner. Um, so I've heard some patients like the monthlies just inserting it and taking it out. But for the most part, the dailies are getting a little bit more cost, more cost effective and healthier. You know, with COVID, I literally had patients come in and say, I don't want to store stuff and I want to be clean. you know clean and hygienic and I just want to put a lens and throw it away. And a lot of patients weren't wearing their lenses you know like they were before COVID because yeah. they're working from home. Yeah. 
they weren't, you know, out and about as much, so they're wearing their glasses at the uh, desk. So know, for monthly, office. when do patients, when should patients put them in and take them out? Well, monthlies, you, you know, take them out before you go to bed, okay. right? And then you if you nap in the them for a half an hour, whatever, you know, you're supposed to take them out, but no sleeping in them, right? So yeah. for the, the um, before you go to bed, take them out and then you can put them back in the morning. Mm -hmm. Some people use just a multi-purpose solution that does a pretty good job at keeping it clean. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people that I know also complain of uh, buildup on the lens. Protein buildup. So we put them in a, like a hydrogen uh, per uh, peroxide. Yep. Um, Solution. Uh, solution that really cleans the lens. However, you got to be careful not burning your eyes with that. You know, you got to wait eight hours to put them back in your eye. But the um, the dailies, obviously, you don't need any of that. But the the monthlies, you know, you take them out when you go to bed. You put them back in the and they'll last throughout pretty much the whole day. But they're not as good as lasting that full, you know, 10, 16 hours that yeah. most people are wearing them. So what I tell what I tell patients usually with the the monthlies is, imagine the first day that you put a monthly in, how it's fresh. You wear mm -hmm. it for thirteen hours a day. Yeah. You don't even yeah. notice it in your eye. That's yeah. what you're getting every single day with the yeah. daily. So by the end of the thirty days with a monthly, you're getting that protein buildup. And so the yeah. contact lens um, inventors and engineers came up with a lens that you can throw away every day, and <clears throat> there's no solution. So the travelers, you're a traveler. Yeah. You don't have to bring the solution with you. You don't have to bring the cases. So mm. the dailies are nice for that. Mm. So from a technology aspect, you know, monthlies came out first in the 1990s, uh, and then we move into the 2000s. How do you feel like the daily lens has improved safety of the contact lens? Because I know a lot of patients. You know, the first question they ask me is. Um, are these safe? Are they going to yeah. damage the eye? Well, the the monthlies, people definitely tend to overwear because they can last for, for a longer period of time. Um, I almost said forever because some patients think they can last forever, but, you know, they don't. But the um, the dailies are harder to abuse. And as it's sad to say is that, you know, patients you know, try to push their lenses a little bit more. But the dailies are good because they keep patients from abusing them, number mm -hmm. one. Number two, you know, they're good for hygiene, so you're not getting the, the, um, protein, build. the protein build up and you're, you know, preventing corneal ulcers and infections and that kind of uh, th stuff. So the dailies are really good for hygiene and dry eye. Awesome. And, you know, we can talk about the dry eye stuff later, but the monthlies um, are also a good lens for patients that want to wear them all day, every day, and um, really get their use out of them. Yeah. The dailies are good because patients can be very flexible with them. If they want to work from home one day and they're just sitting at the office and they want to put on a pair of glasses and they don't want to put their lenses in, great, don't wear your lens that day. But the dailies, they're in a you know secure package. Yep. The the monthlies, if you decide for a couple of days I don't want to wear them, they're staying in that solution for two days. Yeah, with an open package. Yeah. So <clears throat> the uh, the dailies are good. For, they give patients flexibility. So let's say you come in, you get a year supply mm -hmm. of daily contact lenses. Yes. You. Don't have to wear your contact lenses every day, right? Yeah. So when you want to go out and play tennis, you pop your contact lenses, you just throw them out after. Yeah. The rest of the day you can wear your glasses. Let's say on a Sunday you don't, you know, again, you don't want to wear your contact lenses. You have the flexibility of when to wear them, what to, when, when, when to not to wear them. So it's good for those part-time wearers it's as well. It's really, really cost-effective. Yeah and really, uh, really good hygiene for the dailies for people that want to be flexible. Yeah. If you're the patient that's going to wear it every day, all day, and you're, you, you hate the idea of glasses, you can wear the, the dailies. They're a really good lens. But the monthlies may be a better fit for you because you're wearing them all day, every day, and you're going to get use out of them. Yeah. So Okay. Good. Yeah. So a little bit of background on what type of lenses. Let's talk about specifically what you like to fit in the office. You know, a patient comes in, it's their first time wearing a lens. What is your 
favorite type of lens, and we're gonna you can um, go into the specific brand or um, monthly versus yep. daily. And what do you recommend for patients on where to start in terms of? I'm a first time wear. What would be good for me? Yep. So. I usually, for a new time where that's never worn contacts before, I usually start with a monthly just so they can manipulate and practice taking yep. it in and out. Mm -hmm. Dailies, you got to give them like, you know, 10 trials and usually it takes them a long time to get used to fit, you know, putting them in and out. So the, the monthlies, maybe I'll start with that, but if they already have a history of dry eye, corneal ulcers or anything related to that front part of the eye, I will start with the, with the daily, okay. but usually I start with the monthly. And then once they start wearing it and they start giving me feedback of what their issues are, or what they're have, tr you know, struggling with, then I'll, I'll kind of not navigate and kind of switch gears and go towards the, the daily, you know, if, if need be. Okay. Um, the, the dailies, again, a little bit thinner, so usually a new wearer is a little bit harder to, to get in than out. But, but yeah, I usually start with the monthly for new wear. But if you've already worn contacts before, I'm trying to get everybody out of monthlies. Yeah, because it's healthier, it's more convenient, and more the cost optics effective. Is, is yep, and, and the technology is there. Um, I really like to fit and fuse mm -hmm. um, the daily contact lenses. That's my favorite lens to fit. I've gotten great feedback from my patients okay. from the infuse, and so that's my go-to lens. So I know this is a, contact lenses are big for athletes, right? So yep. we were athletes growing up. Yeah. So glasses are really hard when you're on the field. Yeah. So tell me what lens you would recommend for athletes and why. Athletes are tricky because they're, they're wearing their lenses a lot. Yep. And, you know, I had a patient tell me they used to get their contact lens case out and spit in them. Yeah. And then oh. put their contact lenses in out on the fi football field or yeah. soccer field, yeah. whatever you want to. Mm -hmm you know, say. So dailies are, pro you, you know, we all are athletes, especially in high school and college and they're getting recruited and, you know, they're really into the, you know, the uh, athletic stuff. Yeah, dailies. Dailies, no question. They, they come in, they, yeah. they just give me the dailies. There's no pro protein build up, there's no yeah. dirt build up, things yeah, like that. Yeah. So. And it's an easy fit and they, they like, uh, I love the dailies. And, all right, yeah. awesome. So when we get back from the break, we are going to get into how you can ditch your readers. Because everybody hates readers. So Dr. Josh is a specialist in multifocal contacts, and he'll tell you how to throw away that reader. All right, well, welcome back to the show with our guest, Dr. Josh Fabricini here at the Fab Eye Care Show. Can you believe this is our second episode? Are you having lots of fun? I yeah, can feel I, that I, you're having fun. I think we should do this every week. <laughs> I don't know. I think Tommy, our wonderful videographer, yeah, would get yeah. a little tired of us yeah, talking. Yeah, but yeah. Um, So I ended the last segment with readers. Every person on this earth, probably besides 10% of the population, at yeah. some point in their life the has to wear one, yeah. readers. Yeah. And so about five to seven years ago, they came out with multifocal context, which was huge huge for our industry. And Dr. Josh here has kind of s taken the reins and said, I am going to put, put patients in the best possible scenario so that their use of readers is limited yeah. um, to almost zero. Yeah. So why don't you tell the audience, what is a multifocal contact and when you can use it? Yep. So uh, we have a lot of patients that are monovision. Okay. To get rid of readers. So what that is. What is monovision? So monovision is when you have one eye for a distance mm -hmm. and one eye for near. Okay. So that was the only way you could do it back then because they didn't have multifocal exactly. contacts. Yep. So uh, the monovision patients were okay. You can kind of see far. You can kind of see near. But their depth perception was off. It wasn't a perfect system. Yeah. Because you got one eye, your dominant eye for driving. And then you got your yep. non-dominant eye for yep. directions. And you know, God forbid you lose one eye due to whatever, yeah. then you only have one. Yeah, the distance. contact falls out. Yeah. And, yeah. So the um, the, mul the multifocal context is very similar to the progressives or bifocals of the glasses. 
where you have, it, uh, it depends on the system and the contact of the brand, but in general, the center part of the contact is for distance and the outer edge is for the near part. And we can go over the different technologies of it, but for the most part, that's what it is. However, in, in the multifocal you know, realm, the, uh, you usually put a low add in the dominant eye just to give you a little bit more kick in the distance and then you put a high add to kick the reading up in the non-dominant eye. That way you're al it's almost like you're doing monovision but you're not. So, so when Dr. Sh Dr. Fab yeah. says add, he means yeah. by power. Yeah. So think of it as a reader. So yeah. he's putting more power in one eye but you still keep your distance. Yeah. So with a multifocal contact, are you using one eye at a time or are you using both eyes? Both eyes. It's a two-eye system. That's why it's a little bit better than the monovision. So you still have depth of focus. You depth, have depth of depth perception. Yep, you have depth perception and um, you know the the multifocals. Even though it's a two-eye system, um, you know it's a different it's a different power in each eye, but it works together. together. You know, you know oh. most people aren't walking around like this, yeah. right? So, so it's a two-eye system. Got it. Yeah. So what are the advantages over multifocal contacts versus mono version versus readers yeah. versus progressive? I know there's certain distances that multifocals are really good at and kind of talk about a depth of focus where you have a range of vision instead of just one focal point. Yep, so distance only. So we just give patients, um, you know, their distance vision and then they have to put readers over top, usually on contacts for, for near, for reading. That's okay, but you're, when you put the readers over top, you only have one certain distance usually, unless you have multiple pairs. But the you know, that can be very annoying to patients that, you know, they're, they're doing this because, yeah. you know, the power isn't either too strong or too strong and you're, you know, holding it too close. So the, you can do distance only with glasses over top for the reading, which mm -hmm. makes sense, right? But it's not a perfect system because you only have one set distance and you got to find your readers yeah. everywhere, you know? And uh, I have. Where's my readers? Yeah, well, I have a lot of family members um, that are oh, wearing my readers. I need to get my readers. You know, it can be annoying. Yeah. So the multifocals get rid of the readers in the perfect world, right? But you, you have to be careful on what distance you're talking about. If you're talking about prescription bottles that are really, really small print, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, it might not be perfect for that. But if you're reading the newspaper, you're sitting down, computer. or a computer, or you know, eating your food, you want to see your food on the plate, it's, real, it's a really good lens. So um, a lot of times when I'm fitting patients with these lenses, they actually tell me that the grocery store yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Because you're working at all different distances. Yeah. You're reading recipes, you're looking yeah. down the, the aisle, yeah. you're, you know, you're looking at the butcher, which is about three feet. So. Yeah. Glasses and monovision, they only work at certain distances. So that's where the multifocal contact comes yeah. into play. Yeah. Do pac can patients wear this all day and not have to wear the readers? Or is this different than a different contact? In the ideal world, yeah, they, you can ditch your glasses. If, awesome. you, if a patient comes in and says, I do not want to wear glasses. Yeah. You can make it happen. I can fit you with the multifocals, <laughs> right? Yeah. I can put them in your eye yeah. and you'll be able to see distance. Yeah. You'll be able to see near, you'll be see your computer. Awesome. Will everything be perfect when I fit them? There yes. will be. <laughs> but will they be perfect? You have to, usually you have to give up maybe a little bit of distance, a little bit of near, a little yeah. bit of this. But Compromise. in general, yeah. you are going to see distance, computer, and near. That's awesome. Yep. So this technology has almost changed our patients lives and Dr. Josh has gotten so good at fitting these lenses. I actually, I, a lot of patients that come in that are doing the distance yeah. only or yeah. the monovision, yeah. I really do try to twist their arm to, uh, to fit them in these. And they're very happy. I say, give it a shot. You yeah. can't lose. Yeah. And you know, you got nothing to lose and so, uh, the patient like, all right, give them to me. Yeah. So that's the nice thing about uh, Dr. Josh. He will, when he fits you in a contact lens, he gives you a 10 day trial. He gives you, um, at least two two weeks to tr to try it. He will sit in the office. He'll take you outside in the parking lot. He'll yeah. trial it, not just in the exam room, but in the parking lot, and he'll let you put you in real life. Well, scenarios. you have yeah, you have to try it in real life. Yeah, I can put you in our exam lanes, mm -hmm. 
make your vision perfect. Yeah. And you go outside and you're, oh, maybe it's not the same as when we're in the room. Yeah. So you have to try it in the real in the real world, yeah. you know, there's only so much you can do in, in the room, mm -hmm. in the exam lane, mm -hmm. but the, you got to try it in the real world. And so the, the best way to do this is to, you know, get a fine um, tune the contact lenses in the room, yeah. give them a couple trials, and we'll, we give patients trials all the time mm -hmm. to go try out in the real world. And then they can either call, you know, they usually call me back because I love them, yeah. or they say, you know, I want to come, I want to get them tweaked a little bit, a little bit more for reading, a little bit more for, you know, distance. And they'll come back in, we'll tweak something there and there, and they're like, oh man, I love these. Yeah. And so we have a really good system going where, you know, we provide, you know, the trials, like you said, we're here pretty much 24-7 by phone if they have any problems with the contact lenses. So we really have a really good system in place to, you know, be successful yeah. with the patients. So we call it our Fab Eye Contact Lens Guarantee. And, yeah. it, you know, when we fit a lens, we want you to be happy. So I feel like the difference between other places, and you actually worked at other retail locations, yeah. and so we wanted to be different. We give you the trials. We offer an entire year guarantee where if your prescription changes, if you're having problems, you can come in and get refit for free, and we will exchange those lenses at yeah. no cost for that yeah. prescription. Yeah. So we are here to take care of yeah. you. And Dr. Josh will spend at least a half hour to an hour on the initial visit, and then another half hour yeah. on the follow-up guaranteeing that you're happy in your lens and that we're going to get rid of those readers. I'll spend as much time as you want. You know, yeah. you don't want to live here, obviously, yeah. <laughs> but I want to spend as much time to get them happy. Awesome. I want patients to be happy in their lenses. Yeah. I don't, you know, I, when I go out into the world, and I, you know, let's say I get a new car, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to go home and like, yeah, I like the car is okay, but doesn't really drive that good or it wobbles it might go yeah. 80 miles an hour down the <laughs> right now but but you want to when you spend time you want you want to be happy yeah. with the lenses and I will do any I will spend as much time as you want awesome. to get it right so awesome all right so if you're out there. there and you are sick of wearing readers and you want to look at this new technology Dr. Josh has plenty of time for you and will get you in the right lens with the right type, with the right fit, mm. and we'll go from there. Mm. Um, any last words to your fans out there that <laughs> no, you want to tell you them? Yeah, we're really growing here. We're, you know, me and you are just starting out in yeah. terms of, you know, my dad's been here for 35 years, but we're really trying to get our names out there and educa education and educating the patients yeah. is huge, yeah. you know, and, and helping them yeah. and with their vision. Yeah. Um, we we really do care about yeah. patients' visions because it, it's your entire life yeah. and it's how you yeah. function. And if we can make that much more improvement in yeah. our in our patients' yeah. lives, then we can yeah. we can sleep well at night. Yep. All right. So I just wanted to remind everybody that our website is www.fabicare.com. Uh, we me and my brother just wrote a blog about multifocal contacts, so you can go on there and read a little bit about the um, technology. And we will see you next time on episode three. We have a mystery guest on episode three. Mm -hmm. So I know you're excited to see that mm -hmm. one. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great week and happy Monday from Fab Eye Care. Mm -hmm.